Oxbow is a school of art and artist residency uh, located in Sagatech, Michigan, but affiliated with the School of the Art Institute of Chicago. It started as a summer school of painting, but now it's definitely it's way more things than that. There's a metal shop, a ceramic shop, paper making, painting. The relationship with teachers and really, like visiting artists, it's a lot less formal. Like you'll you'll see them around, you'll say hi to them, like you'll eat with them. When you only have artists living and working together, not only do you get to be in nature, which is quite beautiful and, and lovely, but you you form these relationships and are able to create dialogue and levels of exchange that are um, that you're unable to replicate in a city environment. We're also on 115 acres, so work doesn't have to stay in the studio. Work can be floated on the lagoon. It can be installed in the woods. It can, uh, it can kind of go anywhere. Art can be fun. Art can be about experimentation and can still be groundbreaking and interesting, even if you're just, you know, sewing things to trees or <laughs> exposing your screens in sunlight. We're in buildings that are only open in the summer. We are in studios where we don't have um, wireless internet in every studio. When you only have a finite selection of options, you become a really interesting problem solver, and so you have to use what's available. I think here, just because there is such an experimental, like, sort of attitude about the work you make, um, it definitely opens up the opportunity to work with other classmates, work in other, with other materials. Um, I think that's definitely there at SAAC as well, and just because we're in such a weird environment, that's heightened. I'm out here for two weeks at Oxbow teaching a class called Insectology, which is kind of a field version of a class I teach in the city during the fall called the Insect World. I think like studying, studying bugs is like something that I would never have thought to do, but after doing this, it's something that I've actually become really interested in, and you like catch a bug and you identify it, and then you, you pin it and they're all really small and you have to get really detailed and pay attention to your hands. I think the connection for science and art is that you don't know what you're going to get out of it. Sort of, you're, you're open to experience and it's without expectation on some level that you go about collecting things and their relevance becomes manifest as all of the pieces come together, right? So it's sort of an emergent property. Um, things that make the most sense have to make sense sort of in their own making and what you're doing as an artist or scientist is setting up the situation that allows for that to happen. So we're an artist-run organization. Um, uh, almost all the staff members have active studio practices. It really is a fully immersive artist community and um, every aspect of daily life is um, infused with a certain level of this creative spirit and energy. Uh, as you can see, the all the chairs in the, in the inn have been painted. That, that's a nice tradition that's been going on for years. I think one thing that's really interesting to me about Oxbow is its long history. And so because people have been making art and engaged with this landscape for you know something like 100 years, um, you see the traces of what people have made and their own histories everywhere. Yeah, it's pretty interesting to think about. Like You come here and you're automatically connected into this history of people that also come here and respond to the environment and like maybe are painting the same lagoon that you're looking at. Just because it's cool to see that um, people before you sort of contributed to how this place, how you experience this place, how it looks, um, the way that it's run. Um, and I think my own personal history of my parents getting married here too um, is kind of fun thing for me just because I know that this place is really, really important to my parents and that they feel really attached to it. Just the experience of being immersed in nature just opens up different ways of thinking. You know, when you change your environment, you change your perspective, you change the way you think about things. And um, so people tend to come back. They're sort of micro societies of artists where uh, possibilities for ways of living and ways of working um, can be tested and tried out and it's really conducive to the creative process. This process of being open to experience uh, collecting and then synthesizing. Um, but, you know, with some plan in mind, but also just 
uh, hoping that you can uh, allow these emergent opportunities to take place.